So this evening, ACC is proud to present its seventh Lifetime Achievement Award, sponsored by RBC. We'd like to invite Ms. Tina Sorellis, Regional Vice President of Commercial Financial Services for RBC, Mr. John Mann, Vice President of Asian Commercial Financial Services of RBC, and Mr. Alan Kwong, President of the ACCE, to present this award. Hello. I would like to give the applause to all of you honorable guests, winners, ladies and gentlemen. I want to tell you how proud we are of our seven years history as the sponsor of the ACCE Lifetime Achievement Award. Over the years, we have had the opportunity to help recognizing many individuals who have made significant contribution to the overall betterment of the Chinese Canadian community. Tonight, we are honored to recognize another such individual who is a well respect and admired member of the Chinese Canadian community. Tina is going to announce the 2012 winner and share with you why we are recognizing this great individual. Tina, over to you. Thank you, John. Dr. G. Raymond Chang. Not only do I have the great pleasure of sitting next to Dr. Chang at enjoying dinner and Donette, his wonderful wife, but I also have the great honor of sharing a couple of his uh, many achievements. Uh, and uh, we'll start with how absolutely thrilled we are to be recognizing this outstanding business leader, philanthropist, and Canadian. Dr. Chang is currently Chancellor of Ryerson University, Governor of the Royal Ontario Museum, past chair and currently director of CI Financial, one of Canada's largest investment fund companies, as well as owning an investment holding company where he's actively involved in a number of important industries. Dr. Chang has been a tireless support, supporter of Ryerson University, whose School of Continuing Education was named in his honor as well as a long-standing supporter of medical education. He's a board member of the Toronto General and Western Hospital Foundation, and his generosity allowed for the creation of the Gladstone and Maisie Chang Chair at the University Health Network, where he also established a fellowship to train West Indian doctors. As many of you know, Dr. Chang is bor was born in Kingston, Jamaica, and continues to be a generous benefactor and champion of education and business in his homeland. He supports his high school alma mater, St. George's College, and has funded a chair in family medicine at the University of the West Indies. He is also a patron of the university's largest Canadian fundraising event, the UWI Toronto Benefit Gala. Dr. Chang was honored with the Prime Minister's Medal of Appreciation for Service to Jamaica in 2003 and was bestowed the Order of Jamaica in August 2011. These are just a few of his many accomplishments of a man who believes in the best of the human spirit and that we all have the ability to extend ourselves beyond our boundaries. Please join me in congratulating an incredibly deserving recipient of tonight's Lifetime Achievement Award, Dr. G. Raymond Chang. Congratulations. Let's watch your video. I'm Jamaican by birth, Chinese by heritage, Canadian by choice. He's been called the covert philanthropist, a man of the world in more ways than one, Dr. G. Raymond Chang. Dr. Chang was born in Jamaica to Chinese parents. He worked in the family business when he was only 13. He says this experience was his business degree. Growing up in Jamaica and being a minority, I think uh, being Hakka also stood me in good stead. As you know, Hakka is a Cantonese word for the visitors. 
even within China, you know, we were the newcomers and somehow we adapted wherever we are. He came to Canada in 1967 as an engineering student. He became a chartered accountant. In the 1980s, he consulted for the Universal Group of Funds, now known as CI Financial. If you had talked to me 40 years ago, 50 years ago, and said I was going to end up in finance, you know, that was the furthest thing from my mind. You know, I grew up in a family business environment in several businesses. You know, they were successful in bacon, packaging, construction, even making pasta in Jamaica. Dr. Chang became the CEO of CI Financial in 1996. It is now one of Canada's largest investment management companies. In the 80s, the company had $5 million in assets under management. Today, it manages over $80 billion. In 2006, Dr. Chang was named Chancellor of Ryerson University, home to the Chang School of Continuing Education, the largest continuing education program in Canada. From my family, education was always the key. Going to school provides us with the discipline of learning. Education is the greatest equalizer. I pledge to listen to students, to care about student needs, to be a chancellor for students. Dr. Chang has received honorary doctorates from Ryerson University and the University of West Indies. He sits on the boards of the University Health Network Foundation and the Royal Ontario Museum. Over the years, Dr. Chang has donated his time and millions of dollars to education, health, and the environment. In 2010, he was named Outstanding Philanthropist of the Year by the Association of Fundraising Professionals, Greater Toronto Chapter. There are always people in need. And if we can, I think it's our duty to help. In a nation that welcomes people with open arms, Dr. Chang embodies its best values, unity, inclusion, generosity, and forward thinking. This outstanding Chinese Jamaican Canadian is an inspiration with his achievements and his spirit. The ACCE is proud to present the 2012 Lifetime Achievement Award to the Honorable G. Raymond Chang. May we now invite Dr. Raymond Chang forward to the stage to receive his award. And also our President, Ellen. Honored guests, fellow awardees, ladies and gentlemen. First, I'd like to thank the Association for, of the uh, Chinese Canadian Entrepreneurs for presenting me with this Lifetime Achievement Award and to the Royal Bank of Canada for sponsoring the award. This award, in fact, should be shared with my grandparents and parents who taught me how to contribute to the, our community. And of course, my wife, Donette, who continues to encourage me to give of my time and resources. And my children, Andrew and Bridget, who is out there somewhere, who are carrying on the family tradition of giving. On their behalf, thank you.
Thank you so much, Dr. Chang.